Good morning, class. Here is a short video on how to use for end loops. For end loops, uh, it starts with the for command and it ends with the end command, and it will it will repeat this loop with this variable. In this case, I gave it k with variable k starting at one, incrementing by one each time through the leap loop and stopping at 200. So for, for this command, the first time everything in here is executed, k will be 1. The second time, k will be 2. The third time, k will be 3, etc., etc., all the way up to 200. And I can put whatever commands I want in here to be executed 200 times. I'm going to have it just display the number k each time. So I'm, I'm setting up a, a text variable x where it says the next energy or is, and then I can... I'm going to convert k into a string, num to string, isn't that clever, and then have it display that. And as a result, when we run this, here's what we get. And so there we go. It has displayed all of the numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, et cetera, et cetera, all, all the integers up to 200. So it executed this little loop 200 times. Uh, I, I'm going to change it just to show you what we change here. Instead of incrementing by 1 each time, let's have it go up by 3, and we don't need to do up through 200. Let's just have it go up to 100. All right, so it'll, it'll go from k equals 1 to 100, and it'll increment by 3 each time. Let's see what happens when we run this. All right, so now my output starts at 1, goes to 4. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10, et cetera, et cetera. And it stops at 100. So there we go. There are four end loops. All right, so now we know how four end loops. Let's do something a little more interesting inside the loop. I'm going to create two uh, row vectors in the loop. The first one I'm going to call x, and x will just be the integers that are in this loop. So every time uh, it goes through the loop, it'll add one more integer to x. So x will be a long energy integer, 1 through 100, and the y vector will be the square root of that, or excuse me, the square of that, and then I'll have it displayed as a table at the end. So let's see what this looks like when we run it. And here we go. Here's our table. There's the integer, and there's that number squared. 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. All right, so uh, just for fun, let's raise it to the third power. So n cubed, or excuse me, yeah, n cubed, what will that be? Let's run this again. One cubed is one, two cubed is eight, three cubed is 27, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so for the four in loop, it's going to repeat everything that's between the four and the end this many times, all right? We're gonna start at one, increment by one each time, and go to 100, so we'll do what's inside this loop 100 times the way it's set up now. Thank you.